let's talk about some designs. Uh, if you were to travel out of the back side of school towards 48th Avenue uh, and head towards the highway, on the right hand side there's like a cell phone tower or a radio tower or something like that. Um, and if you look at that, it has um, straight up and down sides and then it has X's all the way up uh, that particular uh, tower. We're going to design something similar to that. So what I'd like to do next is I'd like to pull um, some pictures of some past towers that students have made uh, just to kind of show you some options that you have. Now, one of the things that's on the towers are X's. And the reason that there are X's on the towers is a twofold kind of thing. Uh, first of all, a triangle is a very, very strong and stable um, uh, shape. And you'll notice a lot of times in construction of like bridges and um, maybe the insides of like a house or something like that, you'll see a lot of triangles. And the reason is because it provides a lot of structure. So if you look at the X's here, it creates several different triangles, and those triangles help to make this a strong structure. So I'm going to recommend that you use X's on the sides, and you'll notice that this particular side, there's one X at the top, there's a second X in the middle, and then there's a third X at the bottom. Now when you make your X's, you're going to have some choices to make. One of the things that you could do is to use a whole straw for one side of the X and a whole straw for the other side of the X. A second option for you is going to be to use half straws. And when you use those half straws, it's the same kind of deal. A half would be for one side of the X and a half would be for the other side of the X. So as we go through this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to point out what these particular towers have used. Um, and of course, they're trying to find a balance between structure and the number of straws that they have. Because remember, you're only allowed 30 straws. Now when you do a half of a straw, it's very important that you actually measure the straw out and measure exactly what half is. A straw is about 20.6 or 20.7 centimeters, somewhere in that range. And so you're going to want to actually measure where half is and mark it before you cut it. You're only going to be given 30 straws. McDonald's has generously donated the straws to us. Do not go to McDonald's and steal any of their straws, please. Um, but in light of the fact that they donated them to us, we always make sure that we have students design first and then we give out the straws second after the design has been checked. Please be very careful with your 30 straws that you have been given. Measure them. Don't just cut them by eye and make sure you know how many you need before you start cutting, please. Okay. Uh, the second structure uh, that's part of this is this straight up and down piece. And this straight up and down piece I refer to as a pillar. Um, pillars basically are completely vertical and you'll notice on this particular one that there actually happens to be two pillars side by side. Now you have an option when you make your pillars as well. You could take two straws and do what's called telescoping or putting one straw inside of the other straw. And the advantage with using two whole straws, and I apologize, I'm not able to get this. There it goes. Um, this is telescoping. The advantage of using two whole straws is that you can control how much overlap you have. So right now I have about this much overlap, and my straws are actually taller than 30 centimeters right now. They're actually measuring about 40 centimeters. So sometimes... Um, having a little bit of extra height makes a difference, especially depending on how many X's you're putting on the sides. Now a second option for the pillars is to use a straw and a half. Again, we're going to telescope or put one straw inside of the other, but if you use a straw and a half, I only have about this much overlap this time, 
and I can only do that much because remember I have to have a total of 30 centimeters in length and if one straw is 20.6 and the other is about 10.3 you can't have much overlap in order to make them equal 30 centimeters tall. One of the first things that will happen when you go to crush your tower is a height check. So we will double check and make sure that you are 30 centimeters tall. If not, you're disqualified. Um, so you're going to want to make sure that you are 30 centimeters tall. And it's not like those cheater building people where they put a spire on the top and say, well, it's that tall. No, no, no. Spires are illegal. The whole structure has to be 30 centimeters tall. So this one has two pillars in every single corner. It has three X's on the sides, and these X's happen to be made out of half straws. So there's a half a straw here and a half a straw here. Half a straw and a half a straw. This is what it looks like from the top. If you look at it from the top, you're going to notice that it has a shape. It has one side here, two sides, three sides, four sides, five sides, or it's a pentagon. Also from the top, you can tell there's a pillar here and a pillar here. So there's two in that corner. There's two in that corner. There are two in this corner here and here, two in this corner, and two in this corner. Now, if I were going to draw this shape, here's what it would look like on a piece of paper. I would have two pillars in every corner, and it would be a five-sided shape, and I apologize, I didn't prepare one in advance, but it would look something like this on a piece of paper. So you've got one, two, three, four, five sides, and notice I put two circles in every corner, so that would be a double pillar in the corner. Now this is a five-sider, and it has two pillars in every corner, and remember they used half straws for the X's. This particular one has used three X's, but they didn't use half straws. They used, um, it looks like not even a whole straw, to be honest with you. So they wasted some straws. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I would agree with that. Uh, anyway, uh, there are three X's on a side. It looks like there are multiple pillars in the corners. I'll be able to tell a little better here when I get to the top view. So as I look at the top view, I've got one, two pillars in this corner. I've got two pillars that are going straight up and down, two pillars here and two pillars here. So this one has two pillars in every corner. You'll notice that its shape is slightly different. This particular shape is a square, of course, a four-sider. And if I were to draw it on a piece of paper, it would look something like this. Because there are two pillars in every corner, I would have two circles in every corner. Its shape from the top would look like a square. So that's what that one would look like. Now you'll notice on all the ones I've shown you so far, everything looks really good. And that's part of your um, building. When you build it, if it looks good, it's going to hold a lot of weight. If it looks kind of crappy, then it's probably not going to hold a whole heck of a lot of weight. I'm noticing on this one that the pillars are a little bit bended. Um, bowing, I would call that. Uh, and so this one is probably not going to last quite as long. And I don't know if you can kind of tell it. I tried to zoom in a little bit. But it's kind of like bowing a little bit. You'll notice on this one that they used a whole straw for one side of the X and a whole straw for the other side. And then they got down here and a whole straw wouldn't fit, so they cut a little bit off. Doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. I'll show you some other designs how I would have um, recommended that they did it differently uh, in a couple of seconds. Now you'll notice that this one from above is a square in shape. You will notice that there are, again, double pillars in the corners. And so its shape overall is going to be drawn similar to the last one. However, you'll notice that it isn't very square. This side is tucked in a little bit where this side is spread out. Uh, I pretty much could guarantee you that this tower isn't going to hold 30 pounds just by looking at it. So you can do the same. After you're done constructing, you kind of need to look at your tower. Is there anything that you could fix to make it be a little more symmetrical? Because symmetry is everything. And of course, I got an error message.
All right, here is the next one I'd like to talk about. Uh, you will notice in this one that they used whole straws for the X's, and then there's a great big gap here without any support before the next X. They chose to use two X's on the sides, and then they have multiple pillars in the corner again. And let me see if I opened in the right spot here. Yep, this is what it looks like from the top view. So this one happens to be a triangle in shape. And this triangle has one, two, three pillars, one, two, three pillars in every corner. And again, symmetry is everything. So you're going to want to make sure that you have three pillars in every corner. If I were to draw this one from the top view, this is what this one would look like. Now, this one I distinctly remember buckled in the middle because there wasn't any support and did not hold 30 pounds. So keep that in mind when you're designing. Now this one you'll notice I pulled for a particular reason and the reason I pulled this picture is because they not only have straight up and down pieces in the corners, but they have straight up and down pieces down the middle of the axis, which is another option for you to put pillars in the center. Now this one has two sets of axes and those two sets of axes one at the top here is a whole straw and a whole straw, and again, this one looks like they just used a part of a straw. I don't know if you can tell, but it looks a little closer on the bottom and a little wider on the top. Um, so not very good construction, but an interesting design. Now, how would I do this one if I were drawing it? Well, from the top view, this one actually kind of looks like a diamond. It's still a square in essence. It has one pillar in every corner, but then one pillar in every corner. So there's a pillar here and a pillar right there and a pillar right there. And then there's one more right here. But it has pillars that are in the center of the X's. So there's a pillar here, a pillar here, a pillar here, and a pillar here in the center of the X's. And if I were to draw that one, this is how I would draw it from the top view. So again, I'm just trying to show you several different kinds of options. This one has three X's, has multiple pillars in the corner. They used half straws for the X's. If I look at it from above, this is a really tight and compact um, design. And this one actually has one, two, three pillars, one, two, three pillars, one, two, three pillars in each of the corners. Um, so they chose to use a lot of pillars in the corners. This is a top view of a different one. This one is a little spread out. You can tell that there are two pillars in every corner. And along the sides, I picked this one out because I wanted to show you that the X's actually overlap. So here is a whole straw for one side and a whole straw for the other side. And the other X actually overlaps it. So this was an interesting design. They used a whole straw, whole straw, did three X's, so a total of six straws on the side. And again, from the top, if I remember right, I had to go backwards. And again, yes, it had double pillars in the corners, okay? It depends on how many straws you use for the pillars, how many straws you use for the X's, because you only have 30 straws. Here's another triangle. This one has two pillars in every corner. And along the sides, it has four X's, and you'll notice that it has a pillar up the center again. Um, so uh, again, keep in mind how you would uh, draw that from the top view. This one I'd call like the pins of death here. I don't know if you can see those, but there are a million pins on the inside. Now I can guarantee you that this group brought in their own pins. So if you bring in your own pins, use as many as you want. Um, if you're using mine, you have to kind of judge by how many we need for the rest of the class. Uh, but this one has two pillars in every corner. It's triangular in shape. And look at how they did the sides on this one. Definitely a whole straw, but there's a lot of overlap between the X's on this one. So you have a lot of different choices for your design. There are reasons why you would choose, of course. And so when you get in your groups, you're going to be asked to make those choices. So keep